Here's Phil to tell you more. On today's show, we get to recap how yesterday I climbed the ranks, I lived up to my promises, and we're going to talk about how I achieved master rank with M. Bison in Street Fighter VI. No point, no point, no point, no point. It was actually funny because I was just saying in the chat, I realized my build right now, which is the shield counterattack build, um, or what do they call it? Guard, guard countering? Yeah, they call it guard countering, right? It's basically a block and ban build. You block the attacks with the shield, and then you counterattack with a banning hammer slam, and you knock them out of the chat into the black hole of ban, ban world. <laughs> so what it is. So come at me. With all your trollish nonsense, I block you and I instantly counter ban you. That's exactly what the gameplay is, so it fits my style perfectly. In fact, you might say the whole thing is just a little lean in manual action, if you know what I mean. Even though I very rarely ban anyone in my stream chat. Ooh! Have you never had a bison burger? Go to the store, buy some bison meat. Put on your M. Bison hat, come home, fry up yourself some bison burgers, you're really going to like them. But you have to wear the hat. It's required. Okay, um, our next news story is a very interesting one. There is a strongly growing problem in Street Fighter VI, and it's called cheating. Cheater! Oh my god, what a fucking cheater! It is being exposed more and more. What am I talking about? I actually mentioned this a couple months ago when I was complaining about the online play of Street Fighter 6, and a lot of people said, eh, Phil doesn't know what he's talking about. There right now, on PC only, are companies that are selling clients. And these clients hack Street Fighter 6 to make it so that the game will auto-play and cheat with certain scripts. So allow me to explain. You're playing the game normally, but if a certain action happens, this script auto-does a response. So for example, if someone does drive impact, it does auto-drive impact counter right away. It's like instant auto-drive impact, okay? If someone throws a fireball, immediately it does a fast move to blow through the fireball right away. Like, there's not even, like, a human couldn't react that fast. It's just every time, right? And you might say, well, that's ridiculous. How could anyone ever prove it? Maybe it's just someone who's really good, you know? Well, they have figured out ways to prove it. For example, if the script says, anytime there's a fireball, do a fast move, what you do is you bait it. You do it from a distance where you know that it's safe and see if the person you're fighting has exactly the same input every time, the same reaction. Because here's the thing. A human would learn... A script would not. So, for example, let's say you're Ken and you're fighting Akuma. You're, fr you're very close. Ken throws a fireball. Akuma, hurricane kicks right through it. Okay, try it again. Fireball, hurricane kicks right through it. Okay, let's do it a little bit further away. He still does it. Cheating ass cocksucker. Okay, now I'm going to start throwing EX fireballs and those are safe for Ken. He does it anyway. Do it again. He does it anyway. Now you know it's a script. Because a human would get hit by the first mistake and be like, okay, I'm not going to do that again. I just learned the EX fireball stops the hurricane. But instead, they'll just keep doing it over and over. They can't stop because it's a script. You see? <clears throat> and this is happening more and more prominently in Street Fighter. And it's not just basic stuff like, oh, auto driving back. It break every throw automatically. Literally break every throw automatically. What? How is that fucking fair? It's not. But if you ever play someone online and somehow they're breaking every throw, it's probably because they're using a fucking script. What about instant anti-airs? Well, you've already probably faced that with modern players, right? Because all they got to do is mash a button. But with this script, they never have to mash the button. It'll auto-prioritize doing this reversal anytime someone jumps. So this is something bad that's happening. And this, sadly, is what has happened since fighting games have moved from consoles to PC. And we all know why fighting games move from consoles to PC. It's because PC, sadly, has less input delay, right? Better response time, less uh, droppages in, in inputs, 
and overall better connections. We've already seen with Street Fighter VI, the vast majority of people who play Street Fighter VI online at any kind of a high level are playing on PC. It's almost always a PC player you will play who's good at master level. They've all adopted this, I'm playing on PC because we know it's the best version. Well, now, because you did that, you open the can of worms that people are going to mess with this PC version and mod it, and you're going to have stuff like this. There's a difference between, oh, we modded the game. Now Ken looks like Kermit the Frog, and DJ looks like a character from One Piece, and we're fighting with silly skins and shit like that. Like, who cares about that shit? That's not a big deal. It's a visual change. There's a difference when you're actually running a script to cheat in ranked gameplay. Because the, what I just described, Akuma versus Ken, is real. It's from an actual post on X where the person analyzed the fight, posted up video evidence the person was cheating. And they said, the worst part is these people, to avoid any kind of re recourse, they change their names frequently. So they have found a way that you can change your name over and over. And so they jump between d different names so people wouldn't realize it's the same person they're playing over and over when in reality it's the same cheater using this code, right? And this is just getting worse and worse. It's not just, oh, one or two. People are finding them way more often and realizing, oh, this is actually more of a rampant problem than originally when we thought it was one or two bad apples. No, this is actually like there's a whole community of like hundreds to thousands of players who are actively using these scripts, probably talking on Discord servers about their experiences with them and how to improve them. This is not good. Someone even said, you know, some tournaments actually are using online qualifiers as a way to determine who makes it into the real tournament offline. Now imagine someone using one of these scripts and they're just not detectable. We're like, this is nuts. And by the way, Cat agrees with me. You can, you can assume that someone's using the script, but you can't prove it right now. I can understand eight times out of 10, but 10 fucking times out of 10, you auto responded to everything I did, that doesn't make any sense, right? This is where we're headed when everything goes PC-centric. As much as everyone wants to argue, PC master race, PC is so cool, man. You get the best optimal experience with the best graphics and less input delay and everything. That's all well and good and fine. But now, because you have had fighters go from console to PC as the main platform, you've opened the Pandora's box. This is where all this shit gets hacked and everyone fucks with it. So what are we going to do about it? Because this is bullshit. We can't, we can't have the integrity of a competitive game be ruined because a few people are bad apples and want to cheat to get ahead. You know, personally, it's frustrating because I already have a hard enough time not playing a lot and everything, trying to, 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 to play. And now imagine that I'm playing people online who are blatantly just fucking cheating, right? We'll have to keep an eye on this, honestly. Because I actually feel like maybe I have run into a few people. There have been a, a couple matches where all of a sudden the person literally broke every throw. It's like every throw, not just like 90%, but every fucking throw attempt was, was, was broken. I don't know about that. You know, I just don't know about that, especially with the fact that online, you cannot break throws on reaction in Street Fighter VI. You have to guess that they're doing it and press it early. So how is this possible? Right? I just don't get it. Hint, hint. Yo. Hint, hint. Yo. Hint, hint.